Go ahead and share. Um, thank you for sharing such insightful answers, firstly, which um, makes me curious to ask, can you share some of the best practices as a manager um, that you have been implementing and also some of the practices you follow to lead your team? So the best practices around engineering practices are about from cultural perspective. So there are two aspects. One are the actual day-to-day -day work, like engineering practices, right? Or from a team cultural perspective, which is more like a softer side you can go versus both. hard side. A bit about, you can go both. both. Okay. Uh, okay. People who is working, sure. they can the knowledge. Yeah. So I personally feel that, it, okay, I will make an overall statement. Like things that are extremely critical for success is number one is being positive right having a, a positive mindset and uh, is very critical and also having a mindset that is like hey you no know, i may not know but i want to know right uh, because uh, nine out of ten times you no matter what is your background and all you know you may end up finding in a situation that you simply do not know right so what are you going to stop that, hey, and I don't know, so I'm not just gonna proceed now, right? So what you do is, hey, you know what? Yes, I don't know this, and I'm just gonna try to find it out, figure it out. So that's a positive approach. But the second thing is being positive around the team members and colleagues and all. Um, what you find is extremely critical to be uh, behind success is a positive vibe uh, and being respectful, so, right? So now what is a positive fight? Hey, you know, I don't fight with anybody. Is that just a positive vibe? No. Positive more than that, more proactive than that. So the more proactive would be, hey, you are, you're proactive in when there is a problem identified in the team, you're proactive in trying to find the solutions. You have a team member that is, stu is a stuck. Uh, you, you try to help him or her in a positive and respectful way. Hey, you know, hey, X, Y, Z, you are, uh, you were, I understand you were finding this challenge. Is there something I can help you? And share that knowledge with, with them. Uh, and then in terms of the hardest skills, uh, what I would say is the, the most important thing is continuously learn, right? Understand the environment that you are in See what are the the challenges the team is facing, right? Your team, like from a broader perspective, what are the challenges the team is facing, and that what are the challenge, what are the problem statements the team is facing that I can solve, and take initiative on those. But one of the biggest challenges that we find in the industry is take ownership of things. So ownership is like, oh, I know there is a problem, but nobody's told me to do this, right? Uh, that's type of attitude, right? What you find is things, uh, the lack of the ownership, lack of taking the initiative is a bigger driver in why the teams fail or teams are not as successful as can be. Uh, it's pure lack of initiative and lack of uh, a sense of uh, lack of ownership. Like, oh, it's not my job. I, I, they have given me this work. I'm going to get this done. And that's it, right? So that's not a, that's not a great driver for successful. What the organizations are looking for is someone who says, hey, you know what? You have asked me to solve this problem X. I have done it, but I also see there is a problem Y that I want to take in the initiative on. I want to solve it. Right, or at least I want to. I want to bring that up so that we can work on it. I, we, if there is a prioritization question, like a team does not have priority bandwidth and all, well, we can have that conversation. But having that sense of ownership and 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 uh, bringing that up from in a proactive manner is very critical uh, for success and growth. Right, uh, and then always finding ways to solve technical challenges using technology. So I would 
say is, if especially at the beginning of your career, of someone's career, as somebody enters into the industry, it is extremely important that they get to spend as much time as possible hands-on and actually doing things. Great. And uh, yeah, and the other thing is leverage the, so there are so many knowledge, so much information and tools that are out there. Uh, those who are more successful, they know how to leverage those, right? So you can, let's see, you can go to chat GPT and you can find a lot of answers like, hey, it will hey, write me a script and write it for you. But the point is, do you understand what the problem is? And the other thing is, do you even understand enough to ask the questions, ask the right questions, right? And then what th those, those tools and that are out there, it will give you the answers that may not rightly fit for your problem to solve your problem. But then you have to kind of you know, manipulate it, you know, or maybe you have to write, ask additional questions. So the point is, so one of the skills would be in the in the in the coming industry, in the current industry, is how do we leverage tools to solve the problem that we have, and for that understand the problem that we have we have at hand thoroughly and properly from a bigger vision perspective, and then leverage those tools that we have out there. And in order to leverage the tools, you have to have the concept, develop that concept and understanding. Because if I myself do not understand what is given to me, then obviously I'm not gonna, I wouldn't know how to use it, right? So having that concept and is, is critical. Thank you, that was a great answer. Yeah, you have covered pretty good.